Hey everybody, it's Coach Brian and Mr. Kellen. Mr. Kellen. <laughs> Kellen Tichenor and Brian. Today we're going to talk about how to take care of your hands in gymnastics. Since we do not have a person who has already ripped their skin, Kellen's going to be the victim. So he's going to show you with a red marker um, how to make it look bloody. And he's going to show you with this little piece of tape, this is going to be the ripped skin on your hand. It's actually surprisingly realistic. It looks a lot like his skin. Okay. The general rip on your hand kind of looks like this. And he's going to show the camera. This is what it generally looks like when you rip your hand. That's not a real bad rip. He's going to make it look a little worse now. Make it a little worse. Huh? You need a little bit more. Make it bigger. You want me to draw blood lines? Okay. <laughs> yeah, just make it a little bit bigger. We want to, I mean, mm. for the viewing audience, they need to see it a little bit bigger. I want to scare them now. Okay, now we're going to put, this is your skin that ripped off. This is dead skin. So, this skin, we're going to show you what to do with it when it happens. This is kind of what a rip looks like. Ah. If you can zoom up on that, Mr. Cameraman. Basically, this happens when the calluses on your hands get a little bit too big. And the best thing to do with your hands is you want to try to sand or file those down. You can use a piece of sandpaper, or you could even use um, like a nail file or what they call a pommel. Nail clippers. A pommel stone. The thing for your feet? Yeah, one of those things you... I don't do that. Anyway, uh, you can file these down. If you don't file these down, they're, they're called your calluses, they'll rip off. And that's what happens and this hurts, okay? So what we're gonna tell you is, as coaches, you don't get to stop when you do that. So what we do is, I would go like this and rip it down. And then the gymnast a lot of times will scream. Ah. There's another way you can do it. You can take a pair of scissors or nail clippers and clip it very, very, very close so that you own your skin, so that it looks like this, okay? Now, this is when we would apply a neosporin to the rip. I actually prefer ripping it off as a gymnast because when I left that little bit of skin in there it always tended to rip a little bit farther. I like ripping it off clean but you have to be it's a little more painful. Well, little, put it that girls, way. little girls don't usually like that. Well, little girls need a man up a little bit. That's why they're little girls. So then we put the neosporin on it right in the center. You probably gonna wash the chalk all that other garbage off and then you're just gonna kind of Put that on there. There are some other myths about taking the sting out of it that you could put a tea bag on it and supposedly the something in the tea tends to take the uh, sting out of it. I don't know if that's true or not. And I've been in gymnastics a long time and I don't know if that's true. There's another thing that I do know that's true, it's a little weird, is if you want to take the sting out of it and get it to heal a little bit quicker, you can put preparation H on it. Not really used for ri uh, rips usually, but it does help. The best standby thing to use is Neosporin. It takes the sting out of it. They have one that is for sting that you can put on there. And you want to put that all over it, especially at nighttime, but don't cover it. Leave it open. It may come off a little bit during the night. Just reapply it in the morning. But leave your, leave your cut open because it will heal a lot quicker than that. Aloe also works. If you have an aloe plant, you can take that off and put it on there. It actually does mm -hmm. really well. Not the whole plant, just a piece of the aloe. Okay. You can eat the skin afterward for nutrients. You can replenish yourself, yes. <laughs> um, this, we tend, this is called under wrap and it's kind of sticky. Or pre wrap. Or pre wrap. You can reuse this sometimes. Um, a lot of times it's foam. This is a little bit thicker than the stuff we usually use, but. Um, you can use this on your wrists to go underneath your grips so you don't get rips on your, on your wrist. Yeah, you just use it if you're. Rip putting tape wrists. on because it makes it so when you rip the tape off it doesn't hurt. So well much. you can get rips here and you can get them here from your grips. We're going to teach you today how to use um, athletic tape as a way of making what we call a false grip. And false grips can be used over and over and over. You do not have to throw them away until they get so disgusting or bloody or used up that you have to toss them. You don't want to have to keep buying more tape. So the way you make a false grip is you take a long strip about that long, okay? A lot of people have trouble cutting this or ripping this. It's not difficult to rip. You simply pull it apart. <laughs> simply so pull easy. it apart. <laughs> okay, so you get a piece that's about this long. 
If you don't want to pull it apart, you can always get scissors, keep them in your bag. I would get the kind, especially with kids that don't have a point. We have this um, piece of tape. We're gonna roll it. Our cameraman can zoom in a little bit. We're going to roll it so that the sticky side is up. And then I'm gonna take it and I'm going to roll it over into the half point so that all the stickiness disappears and just smooth that out. And now I just have a piece of tape that has no stickiness on it. Okay, and that's what we need. Then we're gonna roll it like this. I'm gonna line it all the way up, all the way down. Okay. Oops. All right, try to make it as even as you can. If you're OCD, it'll probably really bother you that I didn't get that even. And this is the part that you're gonna have up here for the finger hole, okay? So then you take another piece of tape, Let's see if I can do it better this time, about double the length of that piece from here to here. So you're gonna go here and then double that length to about here. Oh, I did it that time. Good job. And you're gonna lay that down on top of this, okay? And then you're gonna flip it over. You bring that up to here. Uh -oh. You bring it up to there, bring it down. I'm gonna catch my finger in there, man. Lay it all the way down. So this is a false grip. These you don't throw away, just keep these. These are very important to keep in your bag all the time. I would have like four or five of these made all the time. You can wear them on the first finger. You can wear them on the second finger, third or fourth, whichever, wherever the rip is, you can use it. Okay, I'm gonna show you on Kellen's hand. His rip is here, so we're gonna put it. Shouldn't have practiced my wedding ring on. That's why I got a rip. Put your finger through the hole, and you just wanna, obviously, whatever, usually your rips are gonna be underneath one of your fingers. That's where your calluses develop. So you just You put can it. rip the center of your palm out, too. That's a yeah, bad one. Yeah, I've done that. That's, that one you get off bars for. Well, you can even use these. If you have one, a big one in the middle of your hand, you can even use two of these together to cover your mm -hmm. whole entire palm. But you just put it down like this, and if you were gonna use the pre-wrap, the way that would work is you would just have this around your wrist so that when you put the tape on, like for me... Again, I don't see the point in the pre-wrap because the tape's going to do it. I don't want all my hair ripped off my arms, so we're going to put it on That's for true. me. That's true. You got to put it on, you want to flat out your and you actually pull it pretty tight so the hand curls under. Because what you don't want is there to be any looseness here that's going to make it so you can't hang on to the bar. Yeah, you're going to want to kind of curl your hand up a little teeny bit because it's going gonna, it's gonna to go on the bar. Then you're going to wrap the tape around it this way. Do a little... Fold Once around, then you're gonna fold that up. You can even fold it up one more time. So all that's underneath, let go of it. And then you're just gonna bring it around again. You might get it. Oh, I can't rip it. <laughs> Good tape. It's because it's brand new tape. So this is what it looks like when you're finished. Then your grip goes on over top of this and you actually go ahead and put the grip over. You can put one or two or even three of these. These do not tear very easily. When you're done, your practice. This tape you can't save. So this part of the tape, you're just gonna get rid of. I've seen people save it, but I don't think it's necessary. Uh, the pre-wrap you're gonna take off as well. You can take it off from the seam, it helps. <laughs> and then you're gonna take this piece, and you just put that back in your grip bag. In your grip bag, I would have roll of tape. If you want the pre-wrap, I think that's important. This does not go in my gym, it goes in the trash. And this part, you're gonna keep. Keep the Neosporin. You also may wanna have your little scissors in there. Always have a grip bag and have your grips and your wristbands. Your wristbands should be about this long and they should be fairly thick if you don't wanna get rips on your wrists. And this is pretty realistic. Okay, well, that's how to take care of your hands. It's very important to take care of your hands. And also one other thing would be to put lotion on your hands at night. That'll keep them moist from cracking. So what you want to do is you want to keep this Neosporin or lotion on that skin so that it doesn't continue to crack. I wouldn't keep it covered the whole time though because you do need it to kind of dry up so that it hardens a little bit. In practice, it's okay to get chalk in it. It's not going to get infected or anything else like that. I've actually never seen a rip get infected ever. Just be ready for when you wash your hands because it's going to sting. It's going to sting. And this is part of gymnastics. You're going to have yeah. to get used to. You're going to get rips and it's just part of the sport. Well, thank you, that's it.
you put it on your hand like this, like that, and you go, ow, ow, my rip. And we put a little, we draw a little marker of... Got your point. <laughs>